Yo guys, what is up? What's going on? Today I've got with me the newest Blackview dash cam, the DR900S2 channel dash cam. That is the front and rear setup dash cam. And as you can see right on the top here, this cam records in 4K resolution. So that means the front dash camera records at 4K at 30 frames per second. And then the rear camera is the same as the previous generation, uh, the DR750, which is recording at a 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. I figured I would do a quick unboxing for you guys. I've already installed and done a video on the DR750. And this just connects in there like that, as you can kind of see. Then we're gonna essentially do the exact same thing but for the accessory wire, the red wire here. But I'm gonna be installing this new DR900S. I'll probably do another video on the install and setup because if you have a previous Blackview camera, depending on which one you have, there are some parts and components that you can reuse. And if you have the PowerMagic Pro for parking mode, you can also set that up. So I'll do another video on the setup after this. But for now, let's take a closer look at what's included in the box. As always, Blackview has really nice presentation. You're presented with both of the dash cams right as you open it up. And we will take out the front dash camera here first. This is what it looks like. You've got the camera sensor beneath this small protective cap on the front. A really nice subtle touch of gold trim now around the lens that is new from the previous generation. Um, the back here, that's also new. The, um, this little line is in gold. You can kind of see it there. This is where your recording and your GPS um, lights will be. But also, there is what looks to be a microphone on the back for audio recording. And then on the side here, like all the Blackview cams, that's where you have everything that you'll be using to plug it into. There's the main power and then the rear dash cam power, your micro SD port, and then your reset or your on off button. The other end of the dash cam over here is less exciting, but this is your Wi-Fi indicator light. Um, it will glow blue when the camera is running or connected to Wi-Fi on your phone. As with all of the Blackview cameras, you've got your mounting ring that slides off here on the back, which reveals the Wi-Fi password that you're gonna need to use when you connect this to your phone. Back down below, this is the rear facing camera. So there's a small lens cap here protecting the camera lens on the rear camera here. And then on the back side, you've got the indicator light that will light up when it's on and running. And then on the other end, you've got the port at which the power cord plugs into. And then again, like all of them, there is the mounting ring that is adjustable and swivels. All right, we'll take the cameras out down here, set them aside. Got your user manual here. If there's anything you're unsure of during the setup, just check back to here. It has a lot of information on how to get everything set up, especially the app and like the Wi-Fi connectivity to your phone. And then at the very bottom is the box of all the accessories. And within this box is our power cables like that and our bag of tools, which help us to remove some of the trim pieces of the trim removal tool, um, some of the little 3M pieces that you can use to tidy up the wiring, and then our micro SD card. This one I have is included the 32 gig SD card. And then lastly is our main power cable that we're gonna use to run the dash cam. So this one's for the front to the back, and this is the main power cable that runs right to the main dash cam. This one plugs into your 12 volt plug-in in your car, or if you have the PowerMagic Pro, right into that. All right guys, so that is the new Blackview DR900S dash cam. Just a quick unboxing for you guys. I'm certainly looking forward to getting this installed on my WRX, so stay tuned for that next video coming very soon where I'll be installing it and showing you guys some of the example footage. Thanks so much for watching guys as always, and I hope you're having a great day or night, whatever it is where you are.